Now that you've created a contact list in Outlook 2013, this video will show you how you can forward this contact list to other teachers and then how you take a forwarded contact list and put it into your contacts. So the first thing we're going to do is forward this. So I go ahead and I select my list and I can either click the forward contact and then select as an Outlook contact option or I can right click, select forward contact and as an Outlook contact. Both options do exactly the same thing. You'll notice it pulls up an email. It already has this parents list, this contact list that I created in as an attachment. Then I can just address it to whoever I want to send this to. So this can be my teammates, or maybe I've created a list for someone else and I want to share it with them. I add text in my email, click send, and they get it. As luck would have it, my friend Sandy happened to send me an email today with an attached contacts list. I'm going to make sure I'm in the contact screen of Outlook 2013. Then I'm going to pull up Sandy's email and I'm going to arrange them so that I can see her email with the attachment and I can see my list of contacts. And all I need to do now is simply click and drag this contact list over into my group wherever it happens to fall and I let go and it's done. Now I can search for it. This was a math group, so when I search math, it comes up. Now that I have it in my context list, I can double click. I can add members, remove members, and update it however I need to at this point because it's now my contact list.